fact is that these have become redundant. There hasn't been a penalty on this ground since April the 3rd of last year. Indeed, Brighton haven't had a penalty anywhere for 51 matches. But all things are possible these days for the Seagulls, going well in the league in spite of their current position and, of course, in the FA Cup. And a clear chance this afternoon for number eight, Jerry Ryan, to make the number eight shirt his for next week's FA Cup semi-final at Highbury. One late change in the Everton lineup. Manager Howard Kendall has left out Steve McMahon. Kevin Richardson, who was at fullback on Monday, moves back to midfield as Gary Stevens is now fit. And for the record, Everton have had just two penalties this season. And the referee this afternoon is the experienced FIFA referee, the Welshman Clive Thomas. Everton this afternoon in a change strip, which is all white, and they are attacking the goal to our left. Team in mid-table. Uh, Kendall, their manager, saying their season was disappointing, but I think he feels that there are possibilities in this side. A lot has been learnt during the course of this season. Sharp, Heath has gone to his right. Sharp in the middle. Three more arriving. Chance for Stevens. Good save, he can get up. Ainsco looked like handball by Stevens, certainly the... But a penalty has not been given. Heath. Foster. And Ramsey in terrible trouble. He went to play the ball back to a goalkeeper who had left home anyway. And the ball going off Kevin Cheedy for the first goal of the afternoon. Comparison of dejection and almost embarrassed disbelief on the face of the scorer. Uh, there'll be a few more curious goals scored this season than that one. And just wonder what Jimmy Media is feeling now because really his right back has been, I think, greatly affected by the fact that he will not play in next week's semi-final because he was sent off last Saturday. His whole performance has been way below the standard of, of earlier games this season. To help out. Stevens as well. Grealish. Did he intend that? If he did, it was a very good case. Stevens. Surely a shot in the air was from Grealish. I think Grealish thought he was pushed from behind. Stevens will let it go, allowing Grealish to make the shot. And now not able to grab it. The end of January. Here's Robinson. Now it's one of those down among the dead men, but looking good. Even so, here's Foster. Stevens must be now. so long Jim Arnold had nothing to do and now without having to make flying saves he's the man standing between Brighton and the desperately search for equaliser Case Pierce Smith, Robinson, Foster, penalty has been given. Conscience was looking for it. And the hope of such an award, complaints from the Everton defenders. But a penalty has finally been given here at the Goldstone ground. And the opportunity falls to Gordon Smith to save Brighton on this day at least. Smith against Arnold. 
Liverpool with the help of a post saves it. The penalty will be taken again. The goalkeeper moves. Well, we haven't had one here for over a year, and now we have two. Wouldn't you believe it? And a booking for Bailey. Follows, I think, an earlier booking for Higgins. And the referee would also like words with Graham Sharp. Well, there's more conversation than football at the moment, and we wait for penalty number two. The same participants will take part in the competition. Would he place it the same way, Gordon Smith? Yes, he does, and truly so. There is hope yet. Two minutes left, and Brighton are level. And scenes worthy of a championship win. And hang on a minute, it's another booking. But the flag's waving. You'd have thought a great deal has been won. But an end of a long run has come from the award of a penalty by Clive Thomas, the referee. Once it was saved, it was to be taken again because the referee said the goalkeeper moved. And Brighton now pray for a miracle of a second goal. Well, I suppose it should be said that fortune has favoured the Brave because they gambled all. And here's Smiley. Stevens and Foster. Michael Robinson and Higgins. And Jim Arnold. We're into the last minute. On by Sharp. Foster didn't know he had it. Gary Stevens. Offside against Sharp. Everybody moves forward except Mosley. Howard Kendall looks very pensive. And one doesn't have to be too clever to guess his feelings on the matter. <laughs> Bailey. His side has certainly been penned back in the second half. Free kick against David Johnson. Who is, I believe, among the number booked. But it would be very difficult to be accurate about that. Because the book was being shown to a number of white-shirted players. And there will be a bit of time for Mr. Thomas to add on, I'm sure. The whistle has gone, the goal will not count. There was a push. Way outside the area. back in front. Hold on to it this time, it's the end. Seemed to be the message from Howard Kendall. And what an extraordinary end. From huge disappointment came high drama, and from high drama came what perhaps for Brighton will be total anticlimax. Having fought so hard to get back, in the end they're denied by Kevin Sheedy's second goal. And Everton go away with a 2-1 win. Nobody say a word, says the manager Howard Kendall. And Mr. Thomas walks off, going backwards.